You say you want to be an influence for change. Can mm -hmm. you talk about that? What do you mean by that? And did that experience in prison highlight the fact that you want to be an influence for change? Absolutely. Um, I feel like there is a lot of positive change that could happen um, if given the ability. And so um, I think that there is a lot of things in our justice system that needs to be addressed. So I am an advocate for prison reform, but also um, for abuse victims. I feel like I was in a situation where I didn't know that there were resources to help children and you know victims of abuse in my situation and so I think that needs to be advocated more those resources um, and more knowledge and education about that. DSS coming to my house. They kept my mother in the living room and they talked to me a lot in my bedroom and they asked me, did I have bruises on me? And I showed them, no, I don't. We were bonded by this lie together, like we couldn't escape each other. To find out that these two people that they had cared so much for were not who they thought the DSS visit, my mother became more paranoid about doctors and social workers. My mom had put filters on our windows to kind of black out anything from being seen inside the house. Tinted the windows so nobody could see what was going on inside the house. Claims the leash was attached to her and attached to Dee Dee.
So how was it chained to anything? The evidence showed no handcuffs or dog leash was ever found on the property, which was thoroughly searched and inventoried by the sheriff's department. They had done some tests and found out she had a chromosome disorder that was causing all of her uh, functions from developing her digestive system and her muscles. How do you kill your own mother? I mean, there's got to be a reason. There's got to be some abuse there. You don't just, I'm going to kill my mother because I want to be with a boyfriend. I did make her uh, have an orgasm once. Okay. And then after that, I, she might have blew me a little bit. And then after that, I think we stopped because uh, we realized there's a lot of packing and stuff to do. Okay. So you guys get everything packed. She wipes down the fingerprints. And then what do you guys do? Uh, she's like, I mean, is she taking any sort of, you know, she's like, well, okay. It was me too, or is she trying to put it all Um, she takes some responsibility, but not much. Not much at all. When you commit a first degree murder, you knowingly cause the death of another person after deliberation. Analysis of cell phones provided evidence of numerous text messages between Gypsy Blanchard and Nick. It's relief. Um, you know, at the very beginning of this, there was the, the question of the death penalty on the table. Something that you hadn't mentioned until recently, how you were actually addicted to painkillers, right? right? right. Uh, that was something that many people didn't know. Mm -hmm. uh, I was wondering, at the time that the murder of your mother happened, were you mm -hmm. under the influence of the painkillers? Were you high? Did that influence what occurred that night? Uh, you know, I was during that week abusing painkillers. However, that was not something that affected my mental state at that time. Interesting. Um, you know, it's, it, it's fascinating to me that for so many years, um, you went along with this fabricated story, right? And I was on a bunch of medications, and I know that's no excuse, but on Xanax, I felt like I had no emotion, and I wasn't thinking right. Why didn't nobody know she could walk? Uh, her mom uh, wanted everyone thinking that she was like 16 the entire time. So, okay. yeah, she felt kind of trapped. I don't know what she was putting in my stepson's head. Yeah. You know? I think he's madly in love with this. I know. I mean, that's the way it works, though, when you have what he has. It's like your mind focuses on one thing. Do you know what I mean? Yes, ma'am. Do you think that if, if Gypsy hadn't asked you to kill her mom, you'd ever killed her mom? I know I wouldn't have done it. Okay. You just did it because you loved Gypsy and Gypsy asked you to do it. Yes. Is that what I'm thinking? Yes. Okay. She now doesn't have a language beyond manipulation and retaliation. I don't believe I deserve as many years as I got. But your mother is dead. She is, yes. And she was murdered. Yes, sir. And you were involved. I was. And but for you initiating the sequence of events, she would still be alive. Yes, sir. So in that sense, you are responsible for her death. Through my life, yes. She taught me how to be a good liar, a very good liar without any conscience. She's a beast. Yeah. Don't turn your back. She might stab you. <laughs> she is potentially dangerous. Dee Dee was a master manipulator, and it's impossible that Gypsy would not have picked this up and used it. As sad as it may sound, her story really does finally have a happy ending, at least for her.